You are listening to the My One Cent Podcast. Thanks and enjoy. Surprise, motherfucker. Greetings and salutations from the My One Ten Podcast, and welcome back, everyone, to what should be, as always, is another great episode. <clears throat> One second, so I don't mean to start the show already with some bullshit, but I'm thirsty because my throat's a little dry today. I don't know why. Enjoying a little cold water from my new tumbler, my new green green canteen tumbler. Um. That uh, everybody has them now. I see them all over the place. We went kayaking last week. People use them. And now I'm going to start using this one to go kayaking. Because it can, it really does keep the beverages cold. And it's big. I was able to fit two. Two. Dogfish had 90 minutes in last weekend. Was it last week? Yeah, last weekend. I had two left in the fridge. I went bloop, bloop. Both popped in. And it fit them both. That was beautiful. And it was cold the whole way through. So. That's that's pretty dope. And speaking of Tumblr, because I just happened to be perusing the internet, the the interweb, and uh, I ran into a post from my boy T, T uh, the proprietor of the only name you need to know in kayak rentals in South Florida. If you live here, or you're planning a trip here, and you're coming now, because right now it's basically it's, it's time to be in the water, bro. We're already in the water already. Yak Crew, Florida, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, excuse me. Ladies and gentlemen, Yak Crew, Florida. Instagram and Twitter at Yak Crew underscore FLA. They have a, there's a Teespring account as well for the merch, which is why I'm even going with this, because uh, he put out his Tumblr, which I like. And I didn't know that they had it because I've been uh, neglecting. I have been neglecting my Teespring account. I'm not going to lie. You know, we do a lot of shit when it comes to, you know, you know, Doing the podcast, if you're, you know, one of, you know, podcaster like myself, you know, do shit from home. I'm not a, you know, I don't got a studio. I'm not one of these big, big, you know, big shows and stuff. I'm just, you know, chugging along here, you know. Um, keep on, like my dad says, just keep on trucking. Um, so along, uh, 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 you know, as okay, let me slow down for a second. <laughs> so not just having to do the show, research the topics, edit the show. Post the, sh- post the show, promote the show, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, blah, blah, blah. Then I'm also dealing with the Teespring account, which is my merch, which is, you know, obviously something that would benefit me because, you know, have some income coming in from that would be real nice. It'll definitely, you know, it'd be money coming into the show because whatever I would make from that would definitely will go into upgrading uh, for the episode uh, for the show. You know, more better equipment, you know, better situation, better software maybe or recording software, what editing software, whatever cases whatever the case is point is that would be huge but i've been neglecting it i'm not gonna lie because it's a lot on top of that i work you know and then i come home and the kids and food and the dog and this and that so i'm working out because i started working out again uh actually the water thing is i'm drinking a gallon of water i'm doing the gallon of water i've been doing all right with that i've done it for like two weeks i missed two days i almost finished it but see because my girl's doing 75 hard i don't know if any of you guys know about that um that shit is crazy. Um, it's not that it's crazy. And I'm going to tell you something real quick. I'm not going to go all deep into it. But she's doing it. She's like at day 20-something, I think. It's, for those of you who don't know, it's basically 75 days of drinking a gallon of water a day, working out twice a day, 45 minutes each. One has to be outdoors, and they can't be consecutive. Um, read 10 pages of a book. Stick to a diet, any diet. I feel like I'm missing something, though. The water, the working out, stick to the diet, the 10 pages. And you got to do all that before you go to bed, by the way. And if you miss any of it, you got to start over from the beginning. There's no leeway. It's like it all has to be done on a daily basis for 75. Oh, no alcohol. See, I always forget the no alcohol part, which is probably why the reason I'm not doing it. <laughs> 75 days without alcohol? Get the fuck out of here. Um, doesn't say anything about weed, which is good. But not like I would have stopped that anyway. Uh, yeah. The, um, 
it's you know it's a program by this dude uh, Andy. I I, can, I don't know why I can never say his last name. Andy, I don't know. It starts with an F. The guy's crazy. I like him, and I like what he. I like his his, you know, what he's trying to do there. You know, build a pattern of of doing things. At the end of the day, it's basically letting you know that whatever you just your mind is very powerful, and whatever you tell it, whatever you, if you can control that, I guess maybe not in a nutshell what he means, but this is how I look at it is that it, the mind is very powerful, and I think people, if you learn how to use it right, then you can accomplish more than you think. That's all. I'm, that's just basically the the roundup for me. Building, doing things, these things, which are really don't sound that difficult. Work out twice a day, for me, that would probably be a pain in the ass because I don't like working out in the mornings, and I don't get up early enough to do it, and I would have to work out when I got home and then wait two hours and work out again or something. Yeah, that's crazy. Work out once when I get home, I'm good. Um, but really, if you think about it, work out twice a day, 45 minutes each. One has to be outside. Okay, Very detailed on that. No alcohol for 75 days. Some people, with, my girl hasn't. You know, we went kayaking last week, and we always end up drinking. I drank, but I bought I bought Michelob Ultra, you know, trying to stay to the thing. I gained, like, two pounds on the weekend. That's not too bad. Um, 75 days without alcohol. Jesus Christ. Every time I say it, I get, like, this, the hairs in the back of my neck stand up. Um, okay, read 10 pay. I'm not, I'm not a reader. I don't read books. But I, I, I feel like I could manage that at least. Uh, but it has to be, oh, and it has to be a self-help book, which that's probably where I'd struggle because I'm not really – I don't do that. I don't do self-help, bro. I'm like George Carlin, bro. Back in the day, if I can just remember exactly what he said about that shit, it was hilarious, though. He talks about the self-help books and all shit in one of his stands. That guy was a pimp, bro. That guy was a pure pimp. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah. So, what did I say? 75 days without alcohol. Read 10 pages. Two workouts a day. Stick to a diet. Any diet. He doesn't give a shit. So, at least in that aspect, you have that. You know, just, I do keto for the most part. At least I'm trying to get back on it. I, I did well when I was on it. Legit. Or as legit as I can, t- <laughs> as legit as I made that shit, because goddamn, I'm a cheating motherfucker. But anyway, um, <laughs> oh my god, if my girl was here right now, she'd look at me with this face like, mm-hmm. so, and um, what was the other thing? Shit. Oh, and they got in the water a day, which is not that bad. She, my girl, struggled with it at first, but look, I gotta give look, look, let my, I'm proud of her because. She did something the other day that I was like, you know what? Most people would be like, no, this person's crazy. She caught a flat the other day and was in the in a McDonald's parking lot. And I, I went during work. I went real quick to take care of her because, you know, that's what a man does. <clears throat> and um, so I get there. I'm doing the thing. And, I'm you know, it kind of was going to affect her workout because she would do a 45-minute walk before work, um, you know, at a park near her job. That's her outdoor workout. And, um, but this was going to, you know, put a little dent in it because, oh, and, and as I continue the story, I just put this point out, the 45 minute workout can't be split. It has to be consecutive. So you got to do it straight through 45 minutes. So she, as I'm doing, you know, the tire, I had to go and grab something from my mom's, which luckily was close by where we were. And, um, I had to grab something from there for my dad's tools and shit. And, uh, I come back. And this bitch is fucking doing jumping jacks. Not jumping jacks, uh, uh, with her uh, jump rope in the parking lot, right next to her car. People are going into McDonald's looking at her, and she's like, I don't go fuck. I'm doing my shit. Now, as far as the 75 hard went, that doesn't really do anything because, again, she couldn't, she didn't do the whole 45 minutes there, but still, it just shows, you know, the effort and shows that the consistency and putting in the work. So, which is something that I don't do. I gotta, I'm not gonna lie. When it comes to working out, I need to put, I need to put more effort in working out. I don't do that. And I know that if I did, I can be a pain. Because I have good muscle memory, and I've worked out since uh, since I was young in high school, and I didn't actually I didn't even gain weight till after high school. I wasn't I didn't have this belly in high school. I wasn't like this. But anyway, not this isn't about seventy five hard. I'm not gonna do it. So I you know I give the people credit who can finish that, um, but I also feel like people that do it need to also realize it's not just your day does not just become about that now. I think his point is to do this. Plus, still continue to do the other things in your life that you must do on a daily basis. I, you know, I don't. I feel like some people might just get stuck on the four, the five or six things, whatever how many things it is. Um, you know, focus on that only and not focus on other things. But it's hard as it is, regardless. So if you can do it, you, uh, you're. Pimp. I probably won't do it. Uh, I'm doing the water. I'm doing the workout. One workout a day. <laughs> 
Uh, I'm, you know, the diet, I guess, if you think about it, I'm sticking to it because I'm not eating like shit. I'm, I'm doing what I can do on, on that end for me. Um, so, whatever. Enough of that. Just wanted to, you know, throw that out there for a minute because it just popped up in my head. And, um, but I was, uh, I got out, we got out, uh, the, uh, I gave you guys the, I hope I gave you guys the info for, uh, yeah, crew. I could have sworn I did. Yeah, crew, uh, yeah, crew on the square FLA on Instagram and Twitter. And then their Teespring account. There's a link tree, if I'm not mistaken, or a straight up Teespring link on the Instagram account that I saw the day, if I'm not mistaken. And also, like I said, for your kayaking uh, needs for the summer, check them out. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm, tr- I'm My bad, because I'm looking at my notes, and I'm trying to juggle what I got here. Uh, yeah. And it's it's early. Kind of early. Not that early. I mean, I get up early, but I'm just a little tired. It's been a rough week. Um, I already had my coffee, like I said, uh, in my uh, beautiful My One Set mug. I'm not even going to go back into my own fucking fuck-ups with my merch shit that I'm not keeping up to it. Because I'm going to go back today. I'm going to get in there today, and I'm going to update a few things and see if I get in some new designs. That's another thing. Make, coming up with new designs and stuff. I mean, I find stuff online all the time, but, you know, I Google images of this stuff. And it makes me think, you know, what if I put some of this shit on my shirt? And somebody one day says, yo, that's, you know, that's my design, or that's my art, that's my photo. So I try to find stuff that looks just like general shit on the internet. So really nobody can fuck with me because, I, I mean, if it wasn't, if it's on the internet, if it's out there, I don't know. I don't see, other than stuff that you know is trademark shit that you're not supposed to fuck with. If I, like, for example, I looked up a mic the other, just a mic. I just wanted a picture of a microphone. And it gave me a bunch of shit. Bunch of different ones, cartoon one, uh, and, and none of them were actually legit like photos of a mic. They were more drawn or computer generated, blah, blah, you know, whatever graphics. And I'm like, okay, fine, this is somebody. Somebody did this, but it's out here. So fuck it, I'm gonna use it. And if something happens, it happens. It is what it is, bro. So I'm working on some new stuff, like a shirt with a mic on it, you know, alone, and then just that. I've actually thought about some stuff for women. <laughs> like I'm in love, like put something on their shit like podcast groupie or I'm in love with a podcaster. I wanted to go as far as saying I fuck a podcaster, but I don't think some chicks gonna be walking around with a shirt that says I fuck a podcaster on their shirt. And only the women that fuck podcasters would wear that. And probably then not even then. Now they probably wear I love a podcaster. I'm in love with a podcaster. But yeah, that's too much. That's too much. Um, and I don't think most. I don't think many women are listening to me. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm gonna take a. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that if some women who are, uh, I don't want to say prudes, I think you have to have you have to be a different kind of chick to listen to me. And because I can get a little, you know, you know, for those of you who have listened to me throughout my process, I don't really give a fuck sometimes. I mean, I'm not going on here disrespecting people, you know, specifically. I'm just generally talking and I talk a certain way and I say things a certain way and I say certain things <laughs> that may not, you know, sit well with everybody. And that's fine. It doesn't really matter to me. I don't really care much for people. So just for the ones that I have around me at the, now. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So I'm also thinking of the ladies, the ladies, I'm thinking of the ladies when it comes to the merch. And I, I'm, I'm going to get on there, and I'm going to start putting some designs, and I'll start promoting it, because I really want to I really want to get you guys to see this stuff. So, yeah. Enough of me. Enough about me, because this isn't about me. This is about y'all. And something I found interesting the other day, and I've actually thought about it a few times, mainly watching uh, Superstore, the show, who just which ended. I'm not going to lie. I... I shed a little tear, bro. I shed a little tear for 70, 74 hard. Look at me. <laughs> I probably would shed a tear for 75 hard trying to get that shit done. Um, no, I, I, you know, I, I didn't start the show when it, I didn't start watching the show when it first started. I got into it like four seasons in maybe or three seasons in. I, my mom watched it and she loved it. She thought it was hilarious. But one day I was uh, at work, I think, and I was on my break and I was like looking for something to watch on my, one of my apps that I have and I, that was there, and I'm like, oh, whatever, 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 let's see, let's check it out. And I got to tell you, man, I fucking, I loved it. I fell in love with that show. It was awesome. It was hilarious. I loved all the characters. Um, 
And I actually was, I, you know, I found myself being emotional when it ended. Um, as I am with most of the shows that I get into that end, especially comedies. For some reason, comedies hit me more because it's funny, but then they get sappy and shit at the end. But anyway, so watching Superstore the other day it made me think about Garrett, which is uh, the actor's Colton Dunn. He does not look like a Colton Dunn. But he is not in a wheelchair in real life. So it made me wonder, do people in wheelchairs have some sort of a, how do I say this? Uh, you know, do they have an issue with Hollywood, basically, is what I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to get at. Do people in wheelchairs, you know, hate Hollywood? Because they put actors in wheelchairs who are not in really in, who are not really in wheelchairs. And it makes me think. Are there actually actors in wheelchairs? Are there? Is there a? I mean, there, there's obviously not a huge, you know, uh, what's the word? I'm not. I guess group. It's not a big group of them out there. I guess because I think they. If you're gonna have a character in a wheelchair, why not look for an actor who's in a wheelchair? I think it'd just be more natural. Don't get me wrong. Garrett did a great job. But I wonder, does that bother people in wheelchairs? That actors portray people in wheelchairs who, when they aren't really in a wheelchair. I think the only guy. The only actor I've seen in a wheelchair that is really in a wheelchair is the guy from The Walking Dead. Because uh, he's in multiple, he's in other shows, and he's in the wheelchair. So I would, I find it hard to believe that he's been typecasted as a non-disabled individual who's great in a wheelchair as an actor. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's his thing, no. I think I remember looking it up, and yes. I should have done the research before I came on, but I'm like Rappaport, dude. We don't do research. We don't fact check. <laughs> that guy, bro. I'm not even getting into him. Because I don't know the whole story with him and the whole thing with KD and all that. I miss his podcast, but his hatred for Levitard bugs me. And Levitard took a shot at him the other day, I think, which was hilarious. But I do like what he does on his pod, on his own podcast. But everything else is just a little over the top. But anyway. Um, so, as far as I know, the only guy I know is the guy from The Walking Dead, the black dude in the wheelchair. But... I, I've always it made me it made me think about it. It made me think. I'm like, man. I think if I was in a wheelchair, I'd be like, yo, that's kind of fucked up. Why not find an? There has to be people in wheelchairs who want to be actors. I would think. Um, because let me tell you, you can clean up. If you can be a hell of an actor in a wheelchair, you can clean up. There has to be parts for people in wheelchairs. And you're in a if you're really in a wheelchair, if you're really disabled, that would be great. It's just natural. It would just be natural to you. I'm, I, I would th- I would have I would think that Garrett, I'm doing air quotes because it's not on video. Again, we're doing just audio. That uh, Garrett had to do some work on the wheelchair before the sh- filming even started for that show. I would think he had to get used to it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb again and say that he was riding around in a wheelchair in his, in his home, just practicing. Or they probably had him in studio moving around in it. See, the beauty of having someone who's in a wheelchair play a character in a wheelchair, is that he might have been able to do, like, wheelies and shit and do tricks on his wheelchair. That's natural. Garrett ain't doing that shit. Hell no. The big boy, too, though. I don't know if he can lift that wheelchair up too much, but I'm just saying. I've always, when, when I watch that show, it makes me, I see him and I think about that every single time. I don't know why. I don't know why it's taking this long to bring it to the air, but it just made me think. So I feel that there has to be a bias about that with uh, disabled individuals in wheelchairs. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think about that. Do you believe that I am, am I on the right, like, I mean, do, you, do you agree with me? Because I think personally, I, I mean, if I was in a wheelchair, like I said earlier, I might be there and be like, yo, I could do a better job than this guy. Why am I not acting? Why is there not an actor, in a, you know, real disabled actor in a wheelchair? I, don't, I think you can clean up. Because Every role for a guy in a wheelchair, they would think of you first because you're in a fucking wheelchair. Just saying. So you could take a, po- a negative, make it a positive. And I think Hollywood keeps you from doing that. It's just, see, this should not only be a Me Too movement against Hollywood, there should be a, oh man, did, I was about to say something. I don't know if it's going to come off right. Well, not that it would have been uh, disrespectful or uh, insulting. It was just I, I wanted it to sound right and funny. The delivery. The delivery wasn't going to be. I was going to say uh, <laughs> wheel two, but then I, in my head, a quick, I said, that, that may not sound right. I, said, I tried to piggyback on the Me Too thing, so 
Wheel two. <laughs> doesn't work. Doesn't work. Ah, it's hilarious. Um, <clears throat> well, since we're on technically on a TV show topic, I can just segue my way into the next topic, which is about another TV show, but a great TV show. No, well, right, Superstore was great, but this is a different kind of great. And I, I said last week or last episode that I really don't feel right doing it without Jay. But, you know, the show must go on. And we all know that. He knows that more than anyone. And the boys will be back. I told you guys last time. I'm telling you again. We are preparing a pre-draft show. I might get them on next week. Just a regular show with the guys. But for sure, in two weeks, we're doing a... Hopefully. I say for sure, but um, at least we'll get three guys on for sure. Hopefully, we'll get the Four Horsemen back on for a pre-draft uh, uh, show next week leading up to the uh, 2021 NFL Draft and the Miami Dolphins uh, Draft. Uh, we will be at the – I will be at the draft party that they're having at the stadium that first round Thursday. So, we might do a YouTube live from there. So, stay tuned for that. So, like I said, I prefer to do it with Jay. But he understands the show must go on. And so uh, – it ain't a it ain't a mind once in podcast without an update. You're not gonna tell me. me. There comes the wave in at the end there. And, yes, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, Temptation Island fans, it is getting, we're getting down to the nitty-gritty. I'd say we have at least two more episodes because I know what they're going to end up doing is they're going to showcase two couples this week, two couples next week, and they'll end up the ending. I say two more for sure because I already saw the preview for this one coming up Tuesday, and they're only showing two couples. So they're going to preview, and I'm trying to remember how they did the previous seasons as far as the end, but I swear they stretch it out. They don't do all four because there's a lot. There's a lot of content there going on with them. So you de- you can't do all four couples the same show. You have to do you have to split, or you got to make a two hour show because you got to have time to get these people in. Um, but my hand, look, it's me rubbing my hand because it is crazy. It is getting crazy, man. Um, dude, look. I, I don't... Uh, I'm not a spoiler. I don't like spoiling it, but I want to talk about shit. Look, Kendall, you're fucking delusional, dude. You're fucking delusional if you think that chick's taking you back. Okay? Corey and Aaron, I don't know what's going to happen there, man. I'm not 100%. I feel like Corey's on the fence. I think Aaron realized she fucked up by even coming on here, and there's a good chance she's going to lose this guy. Um, but like I said, he is on the fence. Uh, he had his, uh, they had those final dates on the last episode. And look, I'm sorry. If you haven't seen last week's episode yet by now, I'm sorry. I, I get it when people say that sometimes when they they don't want to spoil it for other people. They're like, look, if you haven't watched it after a week, I'm sorry. And, and you know, Hey, I don't know how many people live, watch that show that listens to this. I know I already lost T for sure. Um, and I'm pretty sure a couple people have already turned tuned out by now and that's fine. This is for the people who like the show and want to listen to this stuff. It's cool. It's not for everybody. Um, okay. We had a little bit of a snap there. I think I was on uh, for about 30 seconds without a mic on. <laughs> I'll edit that stuff out so you guys aren't going to hear that part. But you guys can laugh about it with me now. So, you know, it's <laughs> <laughs> douche. So, like I was saying, uh, Corey and Aaron, uh, I feel like he was on the fence. They had their final dates. And... He was about, I think he wanted to kiss that girl. He did. I mean, he, and on top of that, he had his hand on her leg, which is okay. I mean, at this point in the show, you're getting close to people. It's going to happen. But he said something to her that I think is really, is going to piss off Aaron. And that's going to be that he said that he thinks he can see himself with that girl. And I like that girl for him because she just got out of a, she got out of a nine year relationship. She's steady. You know, she's not one of these, you know, fast girls, (laughs) these fast girls out there, um, lifting their skirts. No. So. I don't know what's going to happen there. I think she's going to get pissed off about what he said, and that's probably going to fuck her up. But I think that she realized it was a mistake coming here. And where are we at? Julian and uh, what's her face? Kristen? I don't know. 
I think she's going to say no. Um, I think she's going to say no. I don't know what's going to happen with that. I'm just going to let that sit and wait. And then the fucking, you know, she's gone, Thomas. She's gone. She's all over Dr. Blake. It ain't Blake the fake anymore. It's Dr. Blake because Dr. Blake is, well, I <laughs> Yeah, no, I was going to say banging your girl, but he's not because they did the right thing. Well, not, okay. let me not say it like that because then I'm basically saying that the people that did fuck that night are doing the wrong thing. No, not necessarily. And I have, still haven't gotten to Erica. I talked about Kendall, but that's because he's fucking, I, I don't have much to say about that guy. He's a douchebag. Um, <clears throat> but from, you know, obviously, hey, get away from there. From the look of the, sorry, I'm talking to my dog. From the looks of uh, that, they respected their situation and they didn't have sex. They went and slept in separate rooms, which, you know, whatever. But Thomas, on the other hand, Mr. Thomas, Mr. Crybaby, because your girl found somebody out there when you didn't think she would because you didn't think she was going to do anything out there but worry about what the fuck you were doing. And, you know, on top of that, you, you brought this on yourself, homeboy. You brought this on yourself. She didn't want to go. You took her out there. Okay, and by the way, for just for the those that don't know, the producers, that's they prefer that. They prefer the couple that one had to convince the other one to go. Makes things more interesting, I guess, for them on the show. So I looked up this stuff about stuff we didn't know about the show. I'll get into that maybe at the end of the season. Um, yeah, you brought this on yourself, dude. You know, and then on top of the fact that you guys already went in, her already complaining about your flirtiness, she sees you on camera slapping that beautiful I think I wanna say she's Cuban. That beautiful Cuban girl from Miami, Sophia, with those nice titties and that nice ass. And you could just tell she's from Miami. I, it's just, you could just tell people who are from Miami, bro. The way they talk and it's just everything about her. Um, slapping that booty. And, you, okay, fine. Look, I'll give, I'll give Thomas the, this. He didn't kiss her when he wanted to. That's all he really ever did. Slap the butt. But still, at the end of the day, I mean, some women don't, you know, they're not going to let that shit fly, bro. So, but I don't, I don't, you know, Justin's got, I wish, this is why I wish Justin was here because he wouldn't be saying I, how he hate, he, he can't stand her. I can't stand her dirty feet, but I already talked about that one time. Um, no, I, I don't hate on her for what she did. Honestly, I feel like she was put in that situation and, you know, she opened up. She said, fuck it. She said, fuck it. I'm here. I'm going to, I think if it wouldn't have been Blake, like, I don't think if, a, I think if a guy wouldn't have. Found, because they had a few things in common at the beginning, you know, with the whole sky, ski, but, uh, skydiving, I think, and scuba diving or uh, snowboarding and scuba diving. I forgot what it was. You know, they found the nick. They found something. They found common ground, and they were able to click with that. Um, but I don't think she expected to, for that to happen. I don't think he expected it either, uh, Thomas. But again, this is all on you, bro. You 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 brought this on yourself. So I don't expect her to go home with him. I don't know if she's gonna pick Blake either. I think she's smarter than what people give her more give more people give her credit for, but we'll see what happens. Um, and Erica, my sweet, sweet chocolate caramel, beautiful Erica. Oh, Erica, Erica. Listen, if you if 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 somehow some way this got to you, what what? I mean. Because the show was already filmed. We already know what. Like, it already happened. So even if her, she listened to this shit right now, it wouldn't make a difference. But if I could have gone back in time and told her in her ear, like, I'd be a fly in Hawaii, flying into the room and telling her, listen, you you not need go back to that situation. I'm not telling you to go with Jesse. But Jesse's a pimp. He seems like a really cool dude. In fact, apparently Justin knows him. And when we found this out early in the season... We had discussed maybe trying to find a way to get him on. Because he maybe he, he's like, oh, how? You just call him up and be like, yo, Jesse, what's up, man? We're to school together, man. I want to get you on my podcast. We're big fans of the show, blah, blah, blah. Uh, why not? Hey, listen. People who produce radio shows have to have those uncomfortable conversations with people. And people are going to say no, bro. People are going to say no. People are going to hang up on you. But you got to keep trying. So I didn't know how far he was going to go. But look, apparently he uh gone pretty far and... My girl says that they did it. I don't know if they did. They woke up in the bed together, but I don't know if they went all the way. I don't know. They didn't say it either. So I don't know if it's going to come up in the uh, final bonfire and all that shit now coming up. But, yeah, I, you know, if I don't know what she's going to do, but I really do hope that she does not go back to that guy because that guy's a piece of shit straight up. 
Look, I, I don't get, I don't hate on him for what he did in the sense like he's a guy. He was given that situation. Technically, again, air quotes. Technically, you're going in there single. I mean, that's what the, with the way they portray it. Um, but again, you're supposed to. It tests you, obviously. And in this case, it showed exactly what this guy is. You know, he he saw the opportunity to go have some fun, and that's and he did. Because you can even see it. Okay, mommy, what's wrong, baby? Come here. I don't know if you can hear my dog crying in the background. What's up, baby? What's that on your face? I'll get to you. Hold on, mom. So, um, you can see it, bro. He starts with this girl. Uh, I forgot her name already. The 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 for the blonde chick he's got with through majority of the of the season, and then now little by little he's starting to make that move towards the other. Which I don't like that other chick. Um, I don't remember. Can't believe I don't remember her name now. I hate her boobs. She has horrible boobs, and she has horrible style. She wears these fucking tops that her boobs just like drip from the side and stuff. It's fucking whack. She's annoying as fuck. That's the stage five clinger, by the way, if you remember from the first episode we did uh, when the season started this year. So, yeah. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens this week. Uh, like I said, I expect two more episodes at least, so we'll have another update. We'll have probably three more updates uh, next week and then the final update of this season uh, at the end. And maybe, who knows, man, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get Jesse on here and he'll tell us a few things. Because you know, they can't talk about it until after the season ends. So it'd be, I'd be interested to see if he's even still, you know, if they're still in connection, if they're still anything. Uh, uh, with them too, with Eric and Jesse. But I like the kid. I like the way he is. He seems he seems like he has a good head on his shoulders. He's he was very sensitive to her. He didn't pressure her. He said the right things. But guy, and I know guys do that. But I don't know. I get a different vibe from. Him. But hey, I can't trust that because I thought Evan from season one was a, was going to be a G and they were going to be happily ever after. And yeah, no, that didn't happen. <laughs> that did not happen. So let's see what happens this week coming up and. You know, hopefully I'll get Jay on next week and maybe we'll, you know, I definitely got to get him on before the season ends and we get, you know, the final updates in because um, I'd like to get his take on the, uh, you know, overall. And my I'm I'd like to get my girl on and I'd like to get Crystal Jay's sister on um, to talk about this because well, we have a little group chat about the show. <laughs> so we're all fans and I'd, it'd be a nice little, you know, round table. Uh, but yeah, let's see if I can get that to happen. Oh my God. Oh, hold on. I'm trying to stretch because it's fucking Saturday morning. And I didn't think I was going to get one in today, but I guess I did. <laughs> I got it in a little, te- well, I don't want to say a little teaser, but oh no, I already did. I teased you guys last week about the, uh, alone versus naked and afraid episode coming up sometime. Cause I want to, like I said, I want to wait till the season gets closer. So. People, with that being said, I appreciate you uh, taking the time to listen to this episode whenever you did it. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If you did on the weekend, you're a pimp. Um, kind of shorten them a little bit. So I want to do another loan a little shorter for you guys. Um, a little more of an impact. Boom, boom. A little, you know, one-two punch real quick. Uh, and, you know, I love, uh, as long as you guys love listening to it, I love doing this shit. It's uh, It's fun. To be able to come on here and talk to you guys and talk shit with y'all and well talk shit to y'all because y'all ain't saying shit back to me. So yeah, uh, and with that being said, actually, uh, my own podcast on Instagram, my own podcast on Twitter, my own podcast at gmail dot com. Soon, my own podcast dot com. The YouTube, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, uh, review, Google Podcasts, iTunes, uh, iHeart. All that shit. People, let's go. Let's get some comments. Let's get some interaction. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't. Tell me what you want to hear. Tell me what you don't want to hear. Um, you know, let's do it. Let's let's interact, people. <laughs> oh, uh, Panthers, I don't know what they've been up to. I ain't going to lie. I have not been keeping up this week, so I'm not... Uh, and obviously, a lot of shit going on, um, you know, around the country still with these fucking shootings and the cops. And look, I got about nine minutes, and I didn't even think about putting this in here. But you know what? Fuck this. I'm gonna throw this in real quick as we as we head out into the sun. As we ride out into the fucking sunset. 
Because I get, I'm pissed at a certain way, the way people look at certain things. Okay, look. That shit that happened with that uh, army lieutenant, the black kid in the SUV. Um, I don't agree completely with what happened, obviously, because the kid, the, the cops, from what I understand, you know, falsified records afterwards and all that and said certain things and that really weren't true. But I think the initial stop and the initial reaction, the initial um, activity, if you want to call it that, I don't think the cops were completely wrong. Listen. You pull over a black, dark SUV, dark tints, no tag, because from what I can saw quick in the video, you could, it's you can hard to see it in the window, but I'm sure maybe live in person you could see it better. <clears throat> They're pulling up to that, okay? All this shit going on around the country right now, that cop's not saying to himself, oh, I'm just going to walk up slowly to this car, no problem, everything's going to be fine. No, you have to. Now, I know there was something regarding the reason they stopped them. Not just because I think because of the tag, but I think the way I think when you when you pull over a vehicle in that situation that you don't have to see a tag, I think that they have to uh, approach it with caution because the tag not being there could mean they either they're about to commit a crime or they already committed a crime and they didn't want nobody to see a tag, and you don't know what's inside it, that dark that car was dark. So, not to get too into specific things, I'm just I want to talk about the initial stop. Um. Like I said before, well, we did do an episode once uh, about this, and it didn't post because it, the editing, it just came out horrible. I don't know what happened that day. But my general consensus was that when a cop pulls me over, it's yes, sir, no, sir. You got uh, you have ID? Yes, I do. You have this? Yes, I do. But occasionally, I'll ask, to, can you, you know, can you tell me why you pulled me over? My father, who came to this country as a teenager, did his shit on the street. So fucking this, did that. But he always told me. Always respect the cops. If you get pulled over, yes, sir, no, sir, here's my ID, here's this. I don't have a problem showing you my ID if I'm not doing anything wrong. Straight up. But this culture that we've developed about, oh, I don't have to show you shit, is bullshit. Whatever happens, look, I get it. A lot of cops, it's not even a lot of cops. It's a specific amount of cops that have caused a lot of problems for the good cops out there. I get it. There's good and bad of everything. But there's a lot more good cops than there are bad. Okay, and man, um, you know, it had the guy just listened because even one of the cops was like, sir, can you just get out of the car? And we'll figure this out. Okay, the kid kept saying, I'm not getting out of the car. Okay, not to be not to make a joke of some of this stuff, but the one cop had did say something that made me laugh. That boy said, you fixing to ride the lightning, son. <laughs> and the guy's like, huh? I'm not trying to make light of the situation. In this case, nobody was hurt. Nobody was dead, nobody was killed. No, nothing. Um, again, the cops did not do the right thing at the end. I get that, you know. But I don't think they're in. You're fixing to ride the lightning, son. Now, I, I will say this. one of the That same cop spoke more than he should have as far as I'm concerned. Because when that guy said, I'm afraid, he's like, you should be. You don't say that. You don't say that. That right there adds to the whole thing about what people are saying about cops. But they have a really hard job, dude. And I hate the way people just pretend like it's not. People want to defund the cops, want to take guns away from them. The fuck are you going to give them a baton? Do you think anyone's going to respect them without their weapons if they don't respect them now? Get the fuck out of here, bro. You don't you don't take that away from them. You don't take their weapons away from them. I'm sorry. I am so to- I am with finding new measures to approaching certain situations. But not taking stuff away from them, not taking their weapons away from them, not taking their ability to be able to control a situation, honestly, because I'm sorry, that gun on the hip is still intimidating, no matter what you say. When that gun is gone, the guy is just another dude. He's not intimidating to me. I mean, I'm not going to go out and start beating up on cops if they pull me over. Because he's, you know, oh, you're a pussy. You don't have a gun anymore. No, but it's stupid. I'm sorry. I think it's dumb. I think you have to find other ways, not take away shit from them. Add, help them out a little bit because their job is fucking hard, man. Real fucking hard. Okay? Every single fucking day, those people go out there and they don't know if they're going to come home. Their families, their kids, their wives, their husbands, their dads, their moms, any one of those people, they don't know if they're coming home that day. Okay? I get it. A lot of cops have fucked it up for the good ones, man. But we have to continue to still say they're the cops. We have to respect them, bro. We have to. I mean, I'm not saying that if you get pulled over and the cop's a dick to you, you have to. But at least, you know, in that situation, 
even more reason to just stay cool, keep your mouth shut, give them your license, do your thing. If you're not hiding anything, if your license is clear, if your insurance is up to date, if all your stuff is up, you have nothing to hide. What the fuck is the point of adding more fuel to the fire? Seriously. Why? That guy, all he had to do was get out of the car, show them that he's an active service member, tell them that the car was brand new, and that boy would have been on his way home with no problem. But it escalates from five to six to seven to eight minutes of, get out of the car, get out of the car, I'm not getting out, what's going on? Get out of the car, get out of the car, what's going on? How about maybe if you just got out the third or fourth time that they said it, still would be fine. Still. Because you know what? I do feel like cops do understand what they're dealing with now as well. And that they have to understand that people are going to do that to them now. I think that's another thing that cops have to take into consideration on their end. People are going to act this way to you now. So you have to find a more, um, you know, a better solution to your, uh, to, to, to figuring out each individual incident or each individual case uh, when you're, you know, up against it. So I'm not saying they're all doing it, but I do feel like cops have that in their mind. And I also feel like cops, uh, like that lady, who, that lady who, the train, she was a training officer who shot, I think it was the kid in Minnesota. Training officer, dude. She trains cops. And she still, at a moment of quickness and twitch and fast thinking, pulled out her gun and shot the guy. I mean, I look, I get it. People are saying the tasers feel different. That it's not even on the same side. I think it's more towards the front of you or some shit like that. I don't know how everybody wears it, but I think they keep it separate so that you don't have that issue. But she's a training officer. That's what I mean with the fact. That's that's where I go as far as where the cops' mentality is now. That It's all over the place, man. They want to do the right thing, but they're also, they want to go home at night, bro. You know what I mean? And it's tough because we're not making it easy. Well, not me because I, I don't have a problem with cops, but a lot of people out there are not making it easy for them. And you know what? Society doesn't make it easy for them either. Be- for Not for cops, for the people who are having issues with cops. Because you got cops that do things that they, they, you know, some cops deserve to get put in prison. I get it. I'm not saying they're all right for what they've done. Don't get me wrong. George Floyd, eh, nine minutes. Come on, man. Come on. Seriously. That's, that's not, that guy, you know, that was fucked up. That was fucked up. I'm sorry. That, you know, nine minutes on somebody's neck. Come on, dude. It should it shouldn't even been three minutes. It should you know if you put it one to get the handcuffs on, boom, get off. If you already have the handcuffs, I don't remember exactly that, but I could swear. Excuse me, I'm burping. I could see his hands behind his back. All right, look. Point is, we need to do a better job with the cops. We need to start learning how to respect them again, and I think things will be a lot more smoother if we just listen to them from time to time. That's all I'm saying. I'm not telling you to bow down to them and fucking you know. I don't know. I'm just saying, especially that guy who was an army, active army, active uh, serving member of the army. So do you not follow instructions, uh, you know, with your supervisor, with your superiors? Because, I mean, it seems to me like you have a hard time. Look, bro, (laughs) I got less than a minute. That that's what bothers me even more. This is a guy who is in the service, who spends his day being told what to do. Okay, and I'm sure he doesn't do that to his superiors. So why would you do that here? Okay, that, you know, if that's if something worse would have happened to him, I, you know, as much as some people might not agree with what I'm about to say, he might have asked for it because all you had to do was just listen like you do on a regular daily basis at, at your, you know, what you do with that uniform that you have on tells you to do. I'm just saying, guys, thanks again for listening. You got all my deets. We know what to do. Like, share, review, share, review, like all that shit. Love you guys for tuning in. Thank you. And uh, like I said, uh, hopefully we'll get in the draft show week of. I'm hoping to bring the guys back next week. If not, it'll just be my ass again. Me and you, how we do. Peace out.